I spent the past few days trying some of the best AI video editors on the entire internet. Are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> Alright, this is the dumbest thing I've seen in my entire life. Okay, nah, this is actually insane. Ever since AI started going viral back at the end of 2022 when ChatGPT came out, the is AI gonna take my job debate has been a huge topic. Today I set out to try some of the best AI video editors in the entire world and find out once and for all if I need to find a new job. AI video editor number one in video. Generate AI videos with just text. Let's see how good this is. So we give it a topic, language, and detailed instruction, and then we click generate video. Let's go ahead and give it a script from my last video. Let's go ahead and take the entire hook. Let's say English, YouTube, video, height, hook, retention, optimized. So we have a rough explanation at the top. Let's click generate. In video AI is now analyzing, and it's given us a couple different options. The audience is freelancers, correct? look and feel bright inspirational clean i'm gonna go ahead and say inspirational the platform is for youtube yes let's go ahead and press continue so this is taking a hot minute let's go ahead and fast forward okay so video actually appears to be done it's turned it into a 10 minute video i mean i gave it a very short script i'm not too sure how it stretched it out like that but let's go ahead and see what level of video we've got What's up, future millionaires? Jack Cole here, and today we're diving deep into the world of video editing side hustles. I've tried almost every single video editing side hustle that you can imagine. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Genuinely, other than the voiceover, not the worst thing in the entire world. Pros, it works, I guess. Some of the B-roll is not bad. Like, I see a lot of the clips that I'd use from, like, Envato Elements are on there. Other than that, I don't really have many other pros. And like I said at the start of this video, we're rating these worst to best, so that's kind of the worst it can get. Cons, this is not free at all. There is multiple watermarks here. Not only do I have the Storyblocks watermark, but if I actually play this, as you can see, there's an in-video watermark right there popping up back and forth. The edit is not engaging and the kind of most obvious factor, the voiceover is super robotic. Sorry, NVIDIA, this is not something I would ever use. All right, next up, we're going to use Go Enhance. Create AI animated shorts in minutes. And again, they have a free version and I want to do video to video. That's turn your video into different anime style videos. I'm going to click generate. Okay, so the B-roll I'm using is when I crashed my BMW and I lit a cigar to celebrate that I didn't die in the car crash. So we could pick between cute anime style, pixel style, our origami style 2.5d and essentially all of these styles right here i'm gonna go for pixar style i think that's uh the most me kind of style i'm gonna click generate and let's see how quickly this is able to generate our new pixar style animation <laughs> Oh, no way. Something happened. I'm, I'm actually almost in disbelief that something happened. Let's go ahead and play this and see what it actually produced. Okay. That's what it just made. It just cut the first couple seconds of my clip and made that. All right, listen. I'm shutting the laptop. I'm done. Go enhance AI is absolutely terrible. AI video editor number three. Wise cut. It claims to be able to turn long videos into highlights. I'm going to get a little creative and I'm going to go grab a video of a guy called Ashley interviewing me on his channel. It's good to go. Sweet. Create project. The preview is apparently ready. Let's go ahead and see what this has created for us. But there's a version of, of, of VP plus in a couple years where we've got a bunch of different mentors all hosting their own sessions, all hosting their own lives, all contributing their own courses that eventually I might only do one session a week because I want to, or I might not at all. And so one way to get detached is by taking your name out of the course. And another way is by hiring mentors. But how do you hire these mentors and how much do you pay them? When most people look at content creators in their niche and look at them as competitors, Jack looked at them as potential partners. And clip number one is not bad. Let's go ahead and try clip number two. We don't use a third party like school or WAP or anything like that. And then all the actual logic and the and the code and everything's 100% full stack custom. So I own 100% of this thing, completely mine. We rented the server space, Google Cloud. Two of the main points for anybody wanting to sell in the future is how dependent like is your business on you? Is it all This is actually good. And are you are you tech enabled? Is, is it a tech company, right? How much IP? What are we buying here, right? So when you come and, and someone has a school community, 
well, who's going to buy a school community? Because you're, you're buying users, sure, but it's on uh, Homeboy's platform. What's his name? Sam or whatever, right? You know, what are you getting there right there? Jack's building Video Production Plus with the intention of selling it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and declare this right now. Wise Cut's the real deal. Those are actually thoughtful, useful clips. I could post that clip 100%. Wise Cut, congratulations. That was seriously good. I wasn't even thinking of putting Wise Cut on this list. I saw Wise Cut. I was like, I'm not too sure. It looks okay. Wise Cut, you blow me away. AI video editor number four is actually by a household name in the video creation space. Comment the headphone emoji right now if you like the way my headphones are positioned on my head. This is very comfortable, actually. So Vimeo actually created this. Vimeo is obviously an OG in the video hosting space, and they have created a essentially glorified template editor. There's a whole bunch of different presets based on different types of content you're trying to produce, and it has pre-made templates for a lot of use cases. Now, from what I'm seeing here, the templates aren't super advanced. But let's customize one and let's see what we can do with it. Now, we hosted the Video Production Plus event over the summer. So I'm going to come over here to events and I'm going to see if they've got any like cool event promo videos. So let's go ahead and click on this conference one and let's press customize. To be honest, this feels just like a normal timeline. I can click text. I can move it up different layers. I can adjust the length of it. I can move it around. Let's start to swap out their random stock images for our real videos. <laughs> So boom, after a couple minutes of moving some stuff around, let's see how good this turned out. Not bad, not bad at all. Definitely on the simpler side, but I can see if I was like a junior level social media manager or something and I had to whip up a quick video, I can see how this could actually have some practical use case. Again, in like smaller level brands. Couch cam, next AI video editor is Luma AI. Now Luma AI is essentially a text to video model. We can use it to generate B-roll. I think this is ideal if you can't find the right piece of B-roll on Envato Elements, Motion Array, whatever you use to get your b-roll luma ai enables us to generate our own b-roll let's jump on luma ai and let's try and generate me sat on this couch right now recording this video so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna type video editor on the couch on laptop let's click on our generation and see what's going down so instantly i noticed the fingers are really messed up like if your fingers look like that you need some serious plastic surgery and you need it urgently however it is high quality but i don't think that's a fair test we need to do another guy celebrating with a bandage Dana on. We're at capacity right now. Try again later or upgrade for faster generations. How dare you? They clearly have a lot of demand. I've pushed it through about 10 times and it looks like it started to work now. So when in doubt, spam your way out. Let's click on the next video. Let's see what it's giving us. This is pretty damn good. I'll be completely honest. This is very good. Let's let's spot any inconsistencies though. I do see some hands again in the background morphing. Look at the top right. That is gross to say the least and horror movie worthy to say the most. Let's try and get one good one out of this. Now I'm going to do video editor at desk. I'm just going to keep it super simple. I'm hopeful. And wow, that looks pretty damn quality right there. Other than his head being a little bit weird, that's actually pretty damn good. That's a high quality piece of B-roll that's been generated. It is quite short. You can come down here and press extend. extend Extend your video by five seconds. The new generation will be seamlessly continued. Just continue. And again, we're at capacity. All right, screw you, Luma. On to the next AI. Moving on to the fun ones. Stuff's about to get crazy now. We're actually going to start using some very good AI video editors. Stuff that's going to kind of blow your mind. So on the screen right now is Runway ML. Runway ML have been my favorite AI video editor for quite a while. I have paid for Runway ML for my team quite a while at this point. We're going to test out their new generative AI model, Act 1. Supposedly, all we have have to do is import a clip and it will animate the clip for us and turn it into something that looks like this. I'll pick this dog right here. Okay, generate. Let's go ahead and play it and see what happens. This is Jack Cole, test test one, two, three. The reality of test test one, two, three is that it's never quite as good as test test two, three, nine. And if we really try and stop and think for a moment, test test three, three, three is the ultimate form of test. I'm not going to go ahead and tell you uh, that's incredible, but let's actually try a different model. I'm going to grab this guy right here and I'm going to press generate. And it's actually just finished. Amazing. Let's play this and see what it looks like. This is Jack Cole, test test one, two, three. The reality of test test one, two, three is that it's never quite as good as test test two, three, nine. And if we really try and stop and think for a moment, test test three, three, three is the ultimate form of test.
actually quite funny. It definitely maps me onto the guy pretty damn well. The fun part about Runway is they have an entire suite of very useful AI tools that are super, super high powered. So let's go ahead over here and do in painting, remove people and things from videos. Let's attempt to remove the microphone. Let's see how well in painting can take this microphone out of here. As a still shot, it's incredible. However, that's basically just generative fill on a still. The real sauce is, does this remove it effectively? from the entire video after hundreds of different frames. Let's play this. Let's see what happens. Ultimately, it does remove it, but it is a little bit patchy. One of the most practical tools by far that my team use on a near weekly basis at this point is the background removal. I know this tool does work pretty damn well. So we want to remove the stage, remove everything else. I want to just isolate me and essentially be able to export me as a green screen so I could put stuff behind me and just isolate the two different layers. I'm going to click on me. It actually instantly recognizes there's a character here. I'm then going to click the microphone as well because I want to include the microphone. It then instantly recognizes the microphone. I can see there's a little bit of sketchiness going down here. Maybe I can again click right here, see what happens. It isolates my hand. Let's preview this and see what it looks like. Pretty damn well. I can then come up here to done masking. Runway ML will then give me the ability to export just me as a solo layer, essentially with a green screen behind me. Wow. Like when I was in my small town, I only moved to London about four years. Other than the end, which obviously glitches out a little bit, which we could actually go back into the original masking scene and just reselect those parts. Runway does a fantastic job of isolating the object and then allowing us to export this as a green screen. So many cool features inside Runway. We've actually officially landed on a good AI video editor. Let's try some purely generative videos. Let's click the speaking clip. Let's see what it can really do for us. It actually gives examples down here. 3D cartoon, claymation, dramatic, glass. I'm going to do claymation. Claymation. And let's go ahead and press generate and see what it comes up with. All right, so this is actually pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. This has generated it very well. It's now created a pretty funny clip. Let's turn the audio on. What happens? Like, when I was in my small town, I only moved to London about four years. So that's pretty damn badass. I wanna come down here. I wanna see 3D cartoon. Let's go ahead and again, turn the audio off and give this a play. A uh, little bit more uh, out there, to say the least. If I play the original source clip as well, it maps my hands and my gestures extremely well, extremely accurately. Runway is a legit AI video editor. If they can make this thing sentient, it might actually take our jobs. However, after trying all of these AI video editors, I can confidently say the jobs are safe for now. AI still needs a operator, aka somebody pressing the buttons and having some level of creative control. Because as you can see, even on the best AI video editor that we used, which was undeniably Runway ML. Some of the effects don't really work. These AI editors can't replace a normal video editor completely right now. However, the catch is they can make a good video editor even better, meaning it can save them time to do more projects, which means they've got more free time to take your work as well. So my conclusion is AI is not a sentient video editor that's going to take your job. It's a tool that you can use to make yourself more efficient, faster, and essentially a higher qualified, better editor that can take other people's work. Until the AI becomes sentient like Terminator and absolutely kills us all, it is your friend. And you should be using it to make you a better editor. Video's done and dusted. If you enjoyed, click this link. A new video is gonna start playing in a moment. It's a good continuation. I'm gonna jump off your screen in three, two, one. See you there.